my real one Still by me, yeah, you never switched up Even in all the times I messed up Yeah, yeah, you were one in a million Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lola. If you're new here, I upload every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. We don't miss Tuesdays around here. We don't know nothing but Tuesdays around here. Sorry. I had to get that off my chest. But yeah, so today we're doing a haul. It's going to be home decor slash candles, bath and body work. First, we're going to do home decor. But we're gonna get into some candles and some soaps and some wallflowers. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Welcome back, Road to a Million. You heard what I said. <laughs> but right now it's probably gonna be Road to 5K. Today we're gonna be doing a home decor haul, like home decor. Quick little pause to like let you guys know that like I love me some home decor. So I finally went into the stores. I went to Home Goods. And with Bath and Body Works. Of course, you don't always like get something out of every store that you go into, but it was just so refreshing to be back in my stores. Like, it's either fashion or home goods for me. Like, I love decorating my home. Like, we in my bedroom today. I thought it'd be better in here, more homey in here, instead of being in the bathroom. Hopefully you guys like it. How you guys doing? How was your day? I'm doing good. <laughs> But no, I'm so proud of myself of like keeping this up. I'm already like four weeks in to every Tuesday. I told myself I cannot have a day off until February. Why February? I don't know. I think, oh yeah, because it's six months. I told myself I'm going to give myself six months of dedicating myself to YouTube at least. I'll probably go past February. That's how focused I am. That's how on it I am. That's how much I want it. But nonetheless, let's just get into some home decor. You're going to see me next week and a week after that and a week after that and a week after that. So first thing first, I got some random shoes. So no, I know what we said home decor, but I want to show you guys what I got recently. So I got some random shoes from Pretty Little Thing. I don't know why they do the boxing like this. They're not right. Cause I do need these boxes to store my shoes, especially the shoes that I got. So I got these boots. Cute. I reason why I got them from Pretty Little Thing. So I just really wanted like a plain white booty like this the heel didn't have to be chunky but i wasn't really throwing the skinny heels i just wanted something comfortable and i wanted these to be my mom shoes like i want to be cute but i had a mom day just to pull it together in my opinion and i don't care about the rule about not wearing white after labor day i do what i want so i got these i got these in the size actually 11 my feet run so big um people ask me a lot do my feet like get bigger after pregnancy I don't think so. I would say it's still in the same size, but I do like to get a little bit extra room for comfortability, but I do have issues sometimes with 11 being too big, but I think that's more so like sizing versus my feet. I think I'm a true 10 wide though. I'm a true 10 wide, but sometimes I get 11 for room. But these are really comfortable, real cute. Like they're really simple, they're just white. That's the only thing that's, I feel like pops about them is that I'm going to wear white on my feet after Labor Day. I wish somebody would check me. I wish somebody would. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Home Goods. So, Home Goods, I got my life. <laughs> I got my entire life. Now, I am so excited for the holidays. I've been looking for a pillow to like bring out and make sure my hands are clean because I didn't see my makeup. I've been trying to get me in my family a cute holiday pillow for the longest but i just wanted it to be simple i didn't want something i didn't want nothing too cheesy i didn't want something too holiday -y. and my colors are white black and gray that's really hard to find for holiday colors but i was able to find something and i got this pillow it's gonna just sit in the middle of my couch around the holiday times and if you look up close it's like rhinestones like black rhinestones. I thought this was perfect for me. This was $24.99. $24.99. Super cute. And I thought it was perfect. Like I didn't want nothing too 
I don't know, like I feel like I'm really modern when it comes to like my home decor. Like if your style is like modern slash glam slash chic, like you see all this white and I have a, a nine month year old, I don't care. Like I go for decor over everything. Like that's my kind of perspective, but to each his own. I'm trying to let you guys know like what my taste is. So if you're into that, this haul is definitely for you. But yeah, this is super cute. I thought it was so cute. I've been looking for a pillow for literally like a year. I gotta get through all this stuff. So bear with me. So I live in the city. The city has a whole different collection at home goods than it is in the burbs. So I finally went to the burbs visiting my mom and I, I really, really was so Oh, excited about what they have. So we have a his and her sinks in my bathroom. I think I showed you guys my bathroom. If you have not checked that out, check out my empty wild tour. It's definitely on my channel. Why you there like it? Why you there comment? Like, just get your life. But I think I want white in my bathroom to keep it modern. Like, if you could tell, like my bathroom is kind of like it's like turn of the century, like turn of the century modern, like 2008, 2012. And our building was literally built in 2000, like, I want to say 2008, they told me, but I forgot. But I feel like white keeps it modern. And like, I got these rugs now. The rug is so plush, like, it's not so much like a terry cloth, it's more so like, I would say like a good quality plush, like, and I think plush is really good for bathrooms. So just imagine like waking up and your feet touch the good rug, everything. So this is the one for the tub. This is the one for the sink. So we have his and hers, so I got two. So I got two small ones and one big one. Got my life. Like they don't have good quality white rugs where I live in like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, any of that. And I was finally able to find one. I see my biggest tip for home decor is like when you see it, get it. Period. Like Especially if you're not like shopping for something like big, like big stuff, okay, definitely take your time if it's like a bed, a couch. But if it's like a little trinket that you know that you like, if the price is off, you know, definitely stay within your budget. But if you like whatever trinket you're looking at, just get it because you're going to think about it for the rest of your life. Like, if I would have got that trinket, it would have been perfect in on my coffee table or on my mantle. Just get it. Like, you won't regret it because truly home decor is kind of like one of a kind now i love a good pair of sheets so i got these sheets i have a queen bed it is christian seriano i don't know how to say that name christian seriano new york and it's a six piece uh set it comes with a flat sheet fitted sheet uh four standard pillowcases you can never have too many pairs of sheets and i think i really want to graduate because this one was only 24.99 I don't want to graduate to $100 sheets. Like, I go on vacations, and vacations, I feel like half of the luxury is the bed. And half of the bed is the sheets. I mean, of course, the mattress plays, a mattress plays like a good part in like having a good night's rest, but so does the sheets. And these are, I like, I'm the girl that's gonna come up in the home goods and like, it's a little bit out the package, and you gotta touch it. Yeah. I had to touch these. They're really, really nice for $25. And of course, like $25 is like, or well, let's say compare it, it's $40. So, you know, it's always discounted at home goods. But I was excited for these sheets. But maybe when I graduate to like more expensive sheets, I'll make sure to do a video on it. But got me some sheets. You can never have too many white pairs of sheets when you have a white comforter. Also got these two pieces of furniture. So we don't have a coffee table in our front because our front is kind of we're limited on square footage but it's also like we just didn't want a coffee table because it'll take up so much space i can't explain it. i'm gonna show you video to make sure you understand so we got these two end tables so i've been seeing these end tables everywhere it's like a new modern thing where it's like a table that goes on the side of your couch and it just slides under the couch however i didn't want no dark wood i didn't want no honey oak I didn't want no kind of wood. I wanted marble. Marble is more modern to me. Again, my style is modern. So I like waited. And then I found these two pieces, but it was like a darker marble, like a like more of like an eggshell. No, I wanted pure white, speckles of gray. And I found them. I got one medium size or small size, and I got one big size. And they were the small one was $40 and the big one was $50. So 
really, really cute. I think it was perfect for our front. Like I've been waiting for like maybe a year to find a piece to put like glass, like to put like bowls and wine glasses. Like there's something like while we're watching TV just to, to set our drink down. And I finally got it. I finally got it. I was so happy. Like I even asked my husband, so what, do you love the table? He was like, yeah. Like, so do you love the table though? <laughs> like I wanna know if you love the table because I love the table. And yeah, I think I'm almost done. I just need like a centerpiece for my kitchen table. And I'm done with the front. And hide those cords. I have to hide these cords. I'll make sure I can show you guys everything I'm talking about so you can go on this journey with me. But hide the cords. Like them cords give me anxiety. All right. So the second part of this haul is Bath and Body Works. I love me some Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Period. I'm so disappointed in y'all though because they literally said sweater weather was all gone. Sweater weather is my favorite scent ever. Like, I am very picky about my scent. So if you the girl that's like, oh, just try things out. That ain't me. I ain't doing that. I know what I like. I know what I don't like. I don't like smells that smell like food. Just not me. So if you're looking for that on this channel, that ain't this channel. So I spent like $100 and that's somebody works so let's see what i got let's start with the hand soap so one thing i was able to do was get sweater weather hand soap my mom actually put me on to these hand soaps having a child you become like a little bit of a journey i was never a journey before having a baby but now i am because like if she even coughed i'm like did i wash my hands like what could i have done to make sure that she's not coughing so they had the five for 25 so my favorite scent or well, one of my favorite scent top three top three is mahogany teakwood it smells more like oats. Oh, it actually says on the back, rich mahogany, teak wood, dark oat. Like, I love this. My husband loves this too. It's, I feel like it's a perfect unisex smell. Like, it's not too feminine. It's not too masculine. I love this smell. Like, and they have it in soap form. And all it is is like one puff. One, It's like a foaming soap. So, one puff is like, like good enough. And it really gets your hands clean. And it smells good. I got two sweater weathers because literally this is all that was left all that was left was was hand soap in a single wick and i don't do single wicks like single wicks are like mm -mm. i had i did single ones when i was living with my mom because i have my own little room and it could smell up my whole room but living in like a nice lofty airy loft like i need three wicks so i just got the hand soap i hope it smells just like it i didn't even sniff It do smells like it. Oh my god! I have to go back and get candles. But sweater weather says on the back. It says sage, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. I love Mrs. Sweater weather. I was so hurt. Like I literally almost shed a tear about them being out of sweater weather. Like oh, I'm hurt. Then I also got a eucalyptus mint. One of my favorites all year long. I go right for the eucalyptus mint, no matter what time of year it is. It's fresh mint, crisp uh, eucalyptus, and sweet clary sage. So more like earth flowers, that kind of vibe. Mm. Now this is an acquired taste. Mama hates it, but I love it. I love it. My husband loves it too. So as long as we we love it, we good. And I got another mahogany teak wood. So it was two mahogany teak woods, two sweater weathers, and one eucalyptus mint. And then they were five for twenty five pay anything full price ever ever that's the devil's work okay i'm gonna save the candles for last so i also got some wallflower refills i got sun drenched linen eucalyptus mint flannel flannel is a seasonal one too flannel comes out around fall leaves around after the holiday mahogany teak wood like y'all already know what my favorites are you can just send me some in the mail if you want. Two mahogany teak wood. So that's how much I love mahogany teak wood. I got these. And I love me some wallflowers. I need to get me like a cute cover. I've been on a hunt for a cute like seasonal cover. Like, like, what should I say? A holder, a wallflower holder. I'm looking for a really good wallflower holder. Like I have one in my bathroom, but I want something cute for my bedroom. Now I was only able to get three candles because they were literally out of my favorites. Like they came in there and ransacked that place. Like I was hurt. I was so hurt. 
Like I really took a moment of silence when they said they didn't have any more sweater weather. Like, oh yeah, it's a popular scent. Since when? Since when? I don't know why you like sweater weather. Crazy my feelings. You already know, baby. Eucalyptus mint. My favorite. What? Don't try to sleep on this one. I love this candle. And then the second one. Flannel. This is the last flannel. I don't even like this, like, like, I don't know what to call it. This kind of look on it. I like this look. So I'll literally get all of, like, that's what it's called, the white barn. I like to get the white barn versus like whatever seasonal seasonal green they got. But they literally have one flannel left in this time. So I just took what I can get. The last candle, mahogany teak wood intense. Like, I love it. I think it reminds me of my husband now. Cause he's into candles now and he loves this candle. Okay, so I really wanna thank you guys for tuning in today. That's all I have for today. So make sure if you like these, like comment below, show some love, light it up. Cause I need to know what you guys really want from me. See you next Tuesday. Subscribe while you're here. Like the video, comment. Let me know. Let me know. Y'all are my family now. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday. I love you guys. Bye. We just need a face to face You can pick the time and the place You will spend some time away Now you need to forward Give me all the work, 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 work.